What's up everyone, this is HK here bringing you another review today. Um, so today's review will be on Naruto Shippuden, the latest episode, uh, episode uh, 432, or yeah. And yeah, it's, it's the J Jiraiya Ninja Scrolls Part 1. Uh, before I get started, let me talk about the new opening that came out. Uh, the new opening, yeah. I I liked it for what it represented, you know, for what it was, but yeah, it wasn't very action packed it was it was pretty much it was it was very slow and it was trying to be very emotional uh the song was was nice i thought but um yeah it's it's weird because i and i think a lot of people right now we don't know whether what the, what this opening means if it's if it's a filler or or canon the thing is there is one moment of canon in this opening it's the biggest spoiler you could put in an opening so, you know, first of all, for any anime viewers out there who only watch the anime, I've never read the manga, do not watch this opening. Trust me, do not watch this opening. Stay away from it. Stay the hell away from it because that one shot in the anime, is, uh, in, in the opening, is going to totally ruin uh, the anime for you later on. So do not do not watch it just, just for that one bloody shot, which is a great shot, but yeah. Um, so yeah, let's, let's actually talk about how it starts. It starts with... Uh, a bunch of characters actually. It starts with Mito first. I mean, it's Mito, you know, Hashirama's wife. Then it cuts to Rin. Then it cuts to um, J I think I think it cuts to Lady Chio, uh, Jiraiya, Asuma, Minato, uh, Nagato, Itachi, Neji, and Kushina, and they're all trying to grab this sort of ball of light that's just like in the middle of it, like you know. And um, yeah, just it's just fast cutting to all these dead characters who obviously had a very large importance to the series because they were they were pretty much like main support in characters that pretty much died and had a large impact on a lot of the main characters in the story. And then it cuts to Naruto, and you get flashbacks in, like uh, from Naruto Part One and Two. Maybe I wasn't really paying attention, and he's he's like a little kid, and he's growing up, and he's growing up, and he's getting to his Shippuden days, and he's trying to grab that ball of light. And he can't get it, and then it cuts to a face shot of him, and then it cuts to Sasuke's face shot, and then it's cut into him being a little kid and growing up trying to catch this light. He's trying to swat it away, actually, where when Naruto's trying to grab it, he's like, No, get away from me, like, I don't want to near me. And then he gets to Shippuden, and he's got the sword, and he, he strikes it, hits it, and kills it. I don't know what it is, the crystal or something. And then it cuts to Sakura in her Naruto part one days or part two, and she's growing up, and then she turns into a war. You know, she becomes her war version, basically, and you've got, like, these two crystals, which I think represent the different lights. One's, like, full, round, like an orb, and the other one's, like, a sapphire, half cup. I think that one's Naruto, and that one's Sasuke, you know, and, yeah, and she's crying, like she, like she does in all the openings, always crying. And then we get to the spoiler part of the opening. Or, um, it's, um, it cuts to Madara trying to grab this light. And then you've got a fist going through him, through his chest, grabbing that light. And he's like, Ugh. And then you've got Kagyo coming up from the shadows, grabbing him, and just like, oh, smiling and creepy and stuff, which was pretty cool. But like, what the hell, guys? Why would you put that in? What's wrong with you? Like, And then, yeah, that's the part of the opening that confused me a lot, because, yeah, it's just weird. Oh, I forgot one thing. Before Madara... Uh, between Madara and Sasuke, we have Kakashi and Obito, and they're growing up as well, but they're like side by side, and then face shot, and then Madara and Kagi So from from up to there, it, yeah, it's it's just a lot of filler stuff. But then I don't know the way it's structured. It's just a bit. I'll get to it in a minute. I'll get to it in a minute. Uh, it continues on back to Naruto, and now he's changing into all the, the different male characters. None of the villains, only all the main allied male characters, so basically everyone really, you've got Hashirama, uh, Tobirama, uh, Third Hokage, Uruchimaru, Kabuto, Jugo, Suigetsu, uh, the guy with a little bandage on his eyes, not 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 Lord Al, the other one that, that survived, I think, um, uh, Rakage, Gara, um, uh, what's his name, uh, Okio, or Oniko, I think, um, uh, Killer B, uh, Lee, basically Shakamaru, Choji, basically everyone, everyone, and then it cuts to Sakura reaching for that light like in mid-air, and she's turning into all the female characters, where there's a lot of them, yeah, she turns into Hinata, then it's uh, Tamari, Tenten, I think, uh, you got Tsunade there, and then it ends with Kari, and she grabs it, and then a bunch of shots of hands reaching, trying to grab that light, and then it cuts to Naruto, it ends with Naruto, 
finally grabbing that light with one hand, turning the camera or whatever, like, and then it just ends. And yeah, that's the opening. Very, very simple, very quick, very slow opening and confusing because on one hand, we don't know whether this means we're going to be in for a lot of canon or we're going to be in for a lot of filler. Now, the, the reason the way this opening is done is so it doesn't spoil what's going to happen, but then that doesn't explain why when you show Madara and Kargyo, you got that little spoiling part in there. So what's interesting, not to, what's interesting to note is is that it's, it's showing, you know, the main characters who are growing up, those are uh, Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, and Kakashi and Obito, and those five characters are very important, or are going to be very important about what's in what's about to happen once we get to canon, along with the Madara and Kaguya part, obviously, but then the rest is just kind of like showing all the different characters. Now, now I kept hearing rumours that this was meant to be the last opening. Is it the last opening? I don't know, it's got it's got the kind of feel you would use for a last opening really. What with what the emotional kind of music and slow pacing that it's going for, but then I don't think it is. I think this this the, the anime is gonna continue on throughout next year, but then the filler part is the big question, like is it gonna end this year? I'm starting to think it won't. I'm starting to think it's gonna go on to next year now. Just because like yeah, this there's, there's besides that one shot and the characters they've chosen, there, there really isn't a big clue or hint at what's to come. So that's that. Uh, the episode itself, um, the episode was weird. It was a filler within a filler, if that makes sense. So it's very weird. It was a very good episode, I mind you. It feels like this is what Rotten Ninja should have been, in a weird way. Uh, I'll get to that. Uh, basically, it starts with Tsunade after Jiraiya's died, and she's sitting on the ledge drinking the sake, the frog jumps in the water. Then she turns around and notices there's Jiraiya's last book that he's ever written, the novel, uh, the manuscript. And we get a flashback of him saying, once I finish this, you're going to be the first person to read it. She starts reading it, and we cut into the story what it is, and you know, the story is very weird because is this something that he made up on road, or is this something that's going on? Because if, as everyone knows, anyone who's read the manga, in Tsunade's dream, uh, Don is the Hokage, Nawaki is alive, Orochimaru is good, Jiraiya is alive, but in this filler, Jiraiya, I think, is, is dead, I think, or he's alive, I'm not too sure, I'm very confused. But then, but you know, that's not the important part. What's in, what, what the filler is really about is the story that she's reading, and it cuts the story. And basically, it's like a what if, what if, what if Minato and Kushina didn't die and they're alive. Uh, Minato is still the whole car game, obviously. Naruto's got the nine tails in him. He's aware of it. He knows about it. I think his parents did tell him, tell him that. Uh, the villagers, obviously, they're very quiet and they're not saying anything, but they're still angry, obviously, because they know Naruto is the nine tails. But the difference between uh, the actual canon and what, what this dream is, is that um, they're being nice to him because he's the Hokage son, and then you've got uh, Itachi, for example, who shows up here and there, and he's actually, you know, he knows Naruto, Naruto even calls him Big Brother Itachi, which is just bloody weird, and Sasuke comes across as the kind of jealous, jealous character here, like he's, he's very jealous of Naruto because he's the Hokage and everyone's like nice with him and shit. But then a lot of the other characters towards the end, like, they get assigned to this mission, and all the other characters, like Shikamaru, for example, says he, he wants nothing to do with him. And I think, like, I think everyone's maybe, a, you know, they don't like him because he's not a very good ninja, basically. So he, Naruto is still incompetent, if that makes sense. Well, the, the first time we're introduced to Naruto, um, he's sleeping, he gets up because he's late, and he gets a toast, and he's jumping out the window with the toast in his mouth. Kishino's behind him, yelling at him, and he's sitting down and reading the newspaper, that is a shot, a panel, from one of the uh, Naruto covers that Kishimoto did, that's the second uh, manga, co co like, based on the manga cover that I've seen, and I'm starting to think that these fillers are pretty much based on the manga covers that he Kishimoto did at the time, which makes me think that a lot of the fillers we're going to get later on, once this one is done, are going to be based on that. So, for example, remember that manga cover or that that one little page panel, if you will, because that's what it was. I think it was page panels, page panel covers of uh, Naruto dressed as a wizard and Sasuke being an elf and um, Kakashi being Gandalf, or the other one where they're in Western times and the riding horses and shooting gu off guns and shit. I'm starting to think those might be future fillers. I don't know why. That just just because this is the second time I'm seeing that, I'm thinking, yeah, we're, we're probably gonna get fillers based on that. Uh, the episode itself, was the episode good? Because there really isn't much to t talk about. It is what it is. It's just a lot of things are different. Like, Kashi, for example, like, when he, when he brings them all together, he's telling them the whole 
you know that whole uh, speech like you know if you if you let your comrades die uh, you're worse than you're worse than scum um and basically he's got a grave of his father uh, that that's dug there and he's like, he's, shown, he's shown it to them which wasn't in the original canon so here yeah, obviously this world here is a bit different like because it is pretty much a what if but and Naruto for example is very good friends with Sasuke like he keeps telling calling him his best friend but Sasuke wants nothing to do with him because he's a jealous brat weird um but yeah that's 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 pretty much the episode in a nutshell. Next episode is going to be about all the team members trying to rescue a bunch of guys. And basically a lot of the characters, from what we saw at the end of this, they don't want anything to do with Naruto. They don't want him to get in their way. But yeah, I, I, I imagine something is going to happen where he's going to prove he's worth. This was a good filler, honestly. I thought it was one of the best just because it's one of those what ifs. It's, it's like Roll to Ninja, just, just based more on the actual candle what happened. Jiraiya is alive. In, in in this story. Don't know if he's alive in Tsunade's dream. Again, it's very weirdly handled. I don't I don't get it. Um and yeah, I'm pretty sure these this is not gonna be a two part. This is gonna at least go through several bloody episodes. I imagine seven, because again I keep I keep hearing that crap about how this is inspired by an actual book that was seven chapters, so seven that equals seven episodes. Might be longer, I don't know. Uh, I liked it. I didn't think it was bad. Uh, I think so far the fill these fillers are interesting. I thought this was going to be a recap, but it wasn't. It really wasn't. You get a, you get a few little tiny recap moments, obviously, but overall this was a very original episode. A very very original episode. Uh, so that means the rest of them are going to be very original. They're not going to be recaps. None of that crap. But yeah, so far so good. I'm liking I'm liking this infinite Tsukiyomi arch, if you will. I thought last week's one with Karen was very interesting, very good, and worth watching. And this week's one is, isn't is as bad as everyone thought. If you liked Road to Ninja, you'd probably like this because it's kind of the same thing. But if you were hoping it was going to be based on Jiraiya, you're pretty much going to be disappointed. It's not based on Jiraiya. It's all based on Naruto. And it's weird because it's Tsunade's dream, so I don't know. I don't know what, what the hell they were thinking. Studio Parrot, you know, screaming with us like they always do. Uh, overall, the opening was decent but disappointing. The ending was just crap. I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't care much for the ending. The episode itself was was okay. It was good, but the fact that it's a filler in a filler is it just makes it stupid and annoying as hell. So yeah, there's that. Overall, it's worth a watch. I'd say watch it and then make up your mind about whether you want to watch the rest because this is gonna go on for a while. But yeah, that's that. Anyway, like, subscribe, whatever, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.